Hello, um, this is Sasha Squashy at Heavenly Scrapping, and this is my latest um, thing that I've been trying to finish throughout the whole year. I'm just trying to get stuff done, and this is a birdhouse. It's a gift. It's missing minus one bird, though. I'm supposed to have two birdies, but I have to look for another bird. But anyways, this is for a friend for her wedding anniversary. And let's see, the golden swirls are from Poundland. The leaves are from Poundland. This is the anti skid stuff that you use, you know, to put like in on your dash of your car, like if you want to put your phone sitting on it or underneath your carpet rugs or whatever, like in your entryways. It's anti skid. Or shipping like small livestock or something so they don't skid around. Anyway, so that's what that is. And I've made a little lace trim with that. And ribbon. A bit of twine in the nest. I use twine and ribbon and a bit of uh, this upholstery trim. And I kind of wanted some of it to be a bit rough and a bit frayed edges, you know, a bit tattered looking. And then I used a bit of uh, ivy. That is a tongue depressor. Right there. Stained. With Tim Holtz. The rose stain. And then this paper, this is actually a wood grain paper. Um, it's really easy to cut. And then a little mirror with just a little piece of black paper. So you open it up, pull it out, and voila. So a bit of mirror board, a bit of tri upholstery trim, and then some paper flowers and leaves. From Poundland, as well as some silk leaves behind that. Just a simple uh, tag with just some string on it. I didn't want to go too over elaborate with it. Oop, need to fix that. Just need to re, re glue that. Put that aside. And turn it over. I just kind of kept it, kept it simple so. The person who's receiving it can do what they like. And she loves birdies, so I've tried to keep it with the bird theme. And they're just simple tags. And, and I used, um, oh, I can't think of the paper. I'll tell you at the end. I've got everything at the end. I'll show you what I used. Anyways, big double rings. These are, I think, the two inch rings. And a friend gave them to me. She bought them off the internet. So if you really want to know where I got them from, I could find out for you if you leave a comment below. That is a hair piece. And it's just slipped on. So if the person wants to use it, she could. And then these slide out. <laughs> of that pocket. It's a little doily pocket. And then another little simple flower. And then some more little simple flowers with some bling on the center. And a pull out. It's decorated same on each side so it's easy to see and that's the back that's simple what I used to stain the birdhouse was um, black ink pad it kind of like a really old one that's not really good for stamping but it's fantastic for aging things and bringing out the wood grain the wood grain comes up 
the paper is quite dull. You can see it, but it's not prominent. So this brought out each of the levels and each of the shades and everything and kind of help distress it a little bit. And then I stained it with some of Tim Holtz stain. Oops. And I took, I even covered the bottom of the, of the box as well. And I made like a little puzzle piece out of the same kind of wood paper because it's quite thick and s sturdy. And then I had some little twine that I'm using to kind of like to kind of like hide the front of it a little bit to soften it. And then this is actually a frame. And this black piece slides in and out and I just glued it down to the box. And that's pretty basically it. So that fits in there. Like that. So there you are. So that is my little bird housey. Front and back. Da, 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 da. Now the box I used is a cereal box that I covered. I can make my own boxes, but um, for some reason on this particular one, I really felt the cereal box would be better, especially with this particular heavy duty paper or cardstock. I'll just take you over here. I'm blacking you out because my craft studio in this section is a mess. Anyways, oh, 